Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. The Bachelor was the reality show where Kelsey Anderson and Joey Graziadi first fell in love. On the episode, junior project manager Kelsey and expert tennis instructor Joey fell in love right away. After the cameras stopped rolling, their love grew even more. In a lovely post, Kelsey gushed about her life with her new fiancé. Joey Graziadi and Kelsey Anderson are really happy together. Even though it's difficult to keep a relationship going after the show, Kelsey and Joey still love each other. Important subjects like the names of their future children and their honeymoon destination have already been covered. The couple does not currently have plans to get married and start a family. They intend to deepen their love and spend the summertime exploring New York City. They're merely enjoying one other's company for the time being, though. The recently engaged couple enjoys a variety of things together, like going to concerts, making cool TikTok videos, and checking off goals on their bucket list. Last month, Joey Graziadi and Kelsey Anderson were part of the crowd at the Stagecoach Music Festival in Indio, California. And ever since The Bachelor concluded, Kelsey has been even more appreciative of the encounter in her life. She vented on Instagram about how she felt. My life is so amazing right now, she said as she started the Instagram slide. In one image of the two at Stagecoach, she wrote, Joey and I keep saying how we need to embrace this moment of our life and take it all in the best we can. After the ABC reality show, Kelsey continued her writing, saying that she is so thankful for all of the possibilities that have come her way. Thank you to everyone who supports us and sends us love and positivity, the post said. She vowed to never accept our current way of life as normal as she concluded the heartfelt letter. She promised to remain grounded and modest. Why so many celebrities from Bachelor Nation go to Stagecoach? There is more to the Coachella and Stagecoach events than just the music. Celebrities and reality stars get the chance to witness and be seen at the events. Joey's ex-partner, Maria Jorgis, was among the other Bachelor Nation alumni present in addition to Joey and Kelsey. Why then do so many franchise members show up? They probably don't get paid, but in exchange for supporting different products, they receive free tickets and other benefits. For instance, it appeared as though Patron Tequila was funding Kelsey and Joey's exciting weekend. What are your thoughts on Kelsey Anderson's recent post where she waxes poetic about her life? Post your ideas Victoria in the Fuller comments section. and her ex were invited to Nick Vile's wedding. Did she happen to run across someone she was dating before? For the most recent drama on Bachelor Nation. Victoria Fuller is very important to the Bachelor wedding. Victoria Fuller has tried multiple times to find love in Bachelor Nation, but she has always ended up alone. Her most recent attempt was on Bachelor in Paradise, Season 8. She did experience a brief romantic relationship with Johnny DeFilippo, but their union was temporary. The news that Victoria had moved on to Greg Grippo was made public via Nick Viles' social media posts. The pair refuted her ex fiancés claims that they cheated. Before divorce rumors started to circulate, Victoria and Katie Thurston's previous suitor dated for less than a year. Greg Grippo eventually revealed that he was no longer seeing the Bachelor alum after dropping several clues for weeks. Victoria Fuller and Natalie Joy, Nick's then fiance, were friends right away. The two grew close to the point where Natalie asked her to participate in the wedding party. On Saturday, April 27, Nick Vile and Natalie Joy exchanged foes in front of Victoria Fuller and a few other Bachelor Nation alumna. Was she with her ex during the ceremony? 
Seeing so many of the franchise's stars in one location made it conceivable that Victoria Fuller would run into an old flame. Among her mistresses were Johnny DeFilippo and Greg Grippo. On the Peter Weber season of The Bachelor, she finished in third place. The two were reportedly seen cuddling, according to a source, but nothing was ever confirmed. Victoria Fuller and Chris Sewell's the season 19 Bachelor, became connected in 2020. She was in Iowa in quarantine with him. But their relationship ended abruptly. Chris Sewell's was surprisingly present at Nick Vile's wedding. In a video that Joe M. Abel shared of Ben Higgins dancing at the wedding, he could be seen in the background. So much happening in slide four. Victoria commented in the comments, referring to the slide where the Bachelor star was showing off his moves. In response to Victoria's remark, a fan of Bachelor Nation asked, Is that Farmer Chris at the end? You all look fabulous, they said. I didn't know he was there until this picture and the following video, another fan commented. Although there's no photo or video proof of the ex-couples engaging at the wedding, it's likely that they at Mommy's least Bachelor Nation after dating for a year. Victoria Fuller and Greg Grippo called it quits. Insiders exclusively tell Page Six. We learned that the ex-couple secretly split up months ago, having lately unfollowed one another on Instagram. When Page Six reached out to Fuller and Grippo for comment, they did not answer. The 30-year-old reality stars got together for the first time in August 2022 at a birthday celebration for Natalie Joy, the fancy of former bachelor Nick Vile. That October, they began dating, and the following month, they made their relationship official. A few weeks after Fuller's engagement to her Bachelor in Paradise, co-star Johnny DeFilippo ended. She infamously went public with Grippo, raising suspicions regarding the time frame of their romance. The 27-year-old DeFilippo then told us weekly, I had my suspicions, and I kind of thought that there was always something going on. Then all it does is make you wonder, when did it start? It's an odd sensation. But the outrage didn't stop the genetically gifted couple from moving in together and making plans for the future. In November 2022, Grippo stated on the Vile Files podcast, I see it going the marriage route. I desire that. And I am aware of how significant that is to her. And I want to be able to move forward with her in that regard. In October 2023, the former ABC stars celebrated their one anniversary on Instagram. However, they ceased sharing images of each other in December. Fuller became well-known after competing in the 2020 season of The Bachelor, hosted by Peter Weber. Before she and DeFilippo won Bachelor in Paradise in 2022, she later had an off-camera relationship with former Bachelor Chris Sewells. Grippo, on the other hand, made his television debut in 2020 while vying for Katie Thurston's affections on The Bachelorette. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.